Okay, so, so we have a random free time Pokemon trading card game world champion right here. We got Crowback Head. It's been a little while since he's been on. Jake up. What? I didn't. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yes. I have one of those. There's ENT right there. He's covering his face. I have one of those. All right. I don't need one. I only need one. And this is Kyle Adams. What's up, YouTube? Hey, uh, tell Taylor that the Patriots suck and the Packers rule. Yeah. Except I'm an Eagles fan, so actually the Packers don't rule. But they did today. All the time. So what do we got? I'm going to profile my deck that I used to get to top eight at the second day of the Indianapolis City Marathon. I decided to play Steel. It's a little different than everybody else's Steel, so I thought I'd give you guys a look at it. Let's see what you got. Four bronze <laughs> <laughs> and three bronze on. Uh, Pyramid line. Yeah, I like the four three. It worked well. Uh, never did I think. Oh, I need another bronze on. They were like seven. So got those pre-release promos too. It seemed to work pretty well. I like this line. I like the four bronze for consistency, which is what my list focuses on. So I'm with that. My main attacker. Uh, I skipped the Alga and Cobalion EX and went with straight Age of Slash. Uh, I did that because. Some of my trainer choices later you'll see. I didn't feel comfortable playing Dialga, and I think Aegis Slash is really good with all the special energy. I know, but ask. In the format, even if someone plays around the special energy, they're playing around their own deck. So I like to making them do that. Um, really good card. Really good against Don Fan. Oh, it was excellent against Don Fan. Um, I played one regular Energy Press Cobalion and one Heatran. I did make a switch in day two and change this to a Cobalion EX, which I think was better, but I didn't do as well the second day, so maybe I should have left it. Um, but Heatran is awesome. One shots Don Fan, one shots Safeguarders, Outragers. Just, yeah, all, Outragers, everything. Yeah. He, awesome. Great to have it in. Even the big Kiram Outrager, he has the weakness, so, yeah. Um, supporters, I played four Professor Juniper because, uh, like Heretic says, I'm playing a deck in Pokemon, so I have to have four. Damn right. You don't play anything. Less I mean, you could technically play zero and be fine. You just play Sycamore. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Same difference. I played four in. Yeah. Um, it's a great card. Good draw support. Good for comebacks, which this deck actually does well coming back. So. Yeah, I mean, you can wall with stuff, yeah. yeah. I played three Pokemon Fan Club for consistency, and I felt like three is the right number. Four is too much late game. Three is enough that you get it to start a lot, but not, you know, but you can always battle compressor it out later um, if you don't need it. So I wouldn't change that at all. That was perfect. Um, I really like the three Pokemon Fan Club in here. Seems good. Two Lysander and two Chorus to finish up the draw support. Just saying. Uh, trainers, uh, computer search, Dowsing Machine is probably my favorite A spec, but I felt like with this deck I wanted consistency. So obviously you go with computer search. Yeah, you go going for setup versus recovery. Four Ultra Ball. When I originally made this deck, it was only 59 cards, and I had three Ultra Ball in there. So the yeah. logical choice was four. You got the uh, reverse hollows going here, yeah. and you got the yeah. non-reverse flash fire one. Because so, uh, I couldn't find the other reverse hollow ultra ball. Oh no, no, no! I like I like it like this. This is for all you OCD lovers yeah. out there. Oh, you're gonna love my switches here in just a second. There. Um, this is probably where I differ from a lot of metal players. Is three switch and three floatstone. I do this because you can always you can always get what you need as far as metal links when you have this line. You can always retreat and switch. Yeah, yeah I mean, or you could, double switch or whatever. You, it's, you could just put floatstones on like your bronzongs or whatever, and then just switch out and or retreat, and then yeah, yeah I just switch out. I love metal it. link. And Nobody then. plays tool scrap or um, megaphone anymore. Yeah, that card's so. disappeared off the face of the planet. So whatever, you can play the floatstones as soon as you. Get them and then you draw into the switches later. It's perfect. 
Um, this is another kind of difference. I played three max potion. Oh, I like that. It I, was I like that awesome. a lot. You, because of the consistency with your switch cards, you can always get your energy back, and not a lot one shots you other than Pyroar, which I played two this weekend and beat both of them. So I don't know how that worked. So yeah, uh, apparently it's not so bad. Yeah, so it's fantastic. I, this was this was an AZ, which works a lot like a max potion. But then I realized that flare tools don't really hurt me, so I dropped the AZ and turned it to a max potion. Seems good. Three steel shelter. Uh, yeah. You know, it helps in matchups when your opponent's playing laser. It also helps in matchups just where you need to win the stadium more and you need your just opponent to, to not. Just to kind of bump like a fighting stadium or a dimension valley. Yeah, so it doesn't give you a lot if you're not playing somebody um, who's lasers. playing lasers, but it's still very useful. It still seems, you know, it's something you can make use of. Two megaphone because of Garbodor absolutely wrecks my deck. If I change anything, it would be this because I didn't play one single Garbodor all weekend long. Yeah, we only had like, what, two or so, three of them the entire Marathon. I used it because it still got rid of muscle bands and stuff, but it was in there just because Garbodor wrecks me in, in, in any camp, if that's there. Yeah. Two Battle Compressor, um, which, you know, two or three is pretty standard. Allows you to get fan clubs out, and it allows you to get metal in the discard. So. Yeah. Two Verse Seekers. I love this card. This is my favorite card ever. It's great. I used it mostly for Lysander, but if you're needing to come back, you can use it for N, and it's perfect. Um, and I, I should have played four. <laughs> yeah, then you open with like three of them in your first hand and no battle compressor. And then I played ten metal energy, which some people may think is too much, but I found it to be the perfect amount. Um, I always had one in my hand to attach what I needed, and I always had plenty to put in the discard pile. Um, oh, you also didn't play double colorless. So yeah, and I didn't play double colorless. Make up for that. Um, this list goes straight consistency, so uh, I really feel like it was consistent. I had two games where I supporter droughted out of all weekend. I guess that's pretty good, so I might need to tinker with the supporter line a little bit. Oh, Jirachi or, yeah. or, yeah. But overall, it was perfect. Uh, went 5-1-1 one, and one yesterday and made top eight with it, and I uh, was really proud of it. So I want to give a shout out to my team, Doof Nation, yeah. um, and to Jacob Hope specifically. He helped me formulate the deck. Uh, and he's he gone. He took he's off. Yeah, sorry. So. I thought he was still sitting next to Whatever. But, uh, there's there's K-backs for all, for all you guys to see. <laughs> Thanks for Heretic. Peace out. Thanks, guys. No, wait, no. Oh, uh, That's my homeboy right uh, there. Cheers.